How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another Garage Talk with Ronin47R. Just a little quick Garage Talk for you, looking at some tanks. Alright folks, let me go ahead and clear this thing up. I just got out of a game, just finished recording a, a video um, showing the, uh, the very first uh, Xbox One uh, recording that worked uh, for chat and private chat and game chat and there, I mean, everything's working fine now. Thank goodness. But you know what? You didn't come here to listen to all that. What you came here for was a garage talk. So uh, here it is. Uh, this isn't just the the rambling garage talk where I just share random stuff with you. This is a garage, garage, garage talk. Uh, Leo Vog was uh, requesting uh, and Pontiac Pat pass it on to me. Uh, he was in the, uh, you know, in the forums and the discussion rather. And, uh, you know, hey, he wanted me to check in and, and see what's going on with the old with the old garage. So here's what we're going to do. Um, let me just give you an idea of what, what, what's going on here. Uh, you can see that I have, just because I clicked on anything, uh, this is 36 of 175 tanks. The point being is that I have 175 tanks. Um, wow. So if you look at, for those of you that are new to this, if you look and you see, let me highlight it for you. If you see the, uh, the bar there and it says like 3,000 silver, this one says zero silver, 30,000 silver. That means that I do not own it. Um, I can purchase it. Uh, but it's currently not living in my garage. Uh, if you see a check mark uh, next to a tank, such as these two or, or that one, uh, the M3 Lee and so on, uh, that's a tank that's actually living in my garage. So with that said, I'm just going to do a quick brief uh, overview and then eh, highlight a few things and then call it a day because I don't think you guys really want to listen to me talk about 175 tanks. So let's go ahead and just break it into chunks. So as far as the Americans are concerned, um, nothing really too new uh, since the last time we talked about the actual tanks in my garage. Uh, you can see that I finally completed the grind of the T28. I have researched the T95, but I have not purchased it. Uh, it costs three million five hundred thousand. Haven't uh, gone down that road. What else? Uh, I need to purchase back my T32. Um, I've already completed this line here, uh, all the way up to the one T110 Echo Five. The Pershing, I be honest, I've just neglected it. It's uh, fully upgraded uh, with only 34,000 experience, which means that I have, you know, gosh, uh, 100 and forever experience to go to get to the tier 9 M46 Patton. Um, once I have the T95, I'm, I'm just one away from a tier 10. Um, I've already gone up through the T110 Echo 4 for the, uh, the tank destroyer line with the turret and uh, going back down here. I've had the T71 for a long time. Um, not being a big fan. I'm not anti-light tank. It's just, you know, it's just not what I pick up and play with usually. The T71 has been sitting around for a long time. However, what is a motivating factor is I would sure like to get my hands on these two mediums here. And I'm looking forward to playing with the heavy here. Um, not that I'm, you know, super excited about a tier 10, but, you know, I want to get it in the garage. Um, not anti-artillery, but, um, you know, as far as artillery is concerned, um, I really don't play with it a lot. have a lot of respect for it, but, you know, just not my cup of tea, uh, you know, straight away. So I'm currently at the Tier 7 M12, and uh, you can see in the past to save garage space, back in the old days, I was selling those, uh, those artillery um, units. Uh, going over to Japan, oh, and by the way, you can, it's really nice and easy to see the, uh, the new updated progress ring i don't know i'm going to call it a progress ring it's the nation progress ring and you can see that i have 43 out of 52 researched um going over to japan uh they only have 13 um possible and i have nine of them and uh i guess that means research though probably doesn't mean nine in the garage i don't know one two three four five six eight nine so nine yeah see so the nine is okay so the nine is what uh what is uh currently in the garage um i have a tier six chi toe uh driven by chester and um you know so i'm obviously a long ways to go uh this is a very nice tank by the way the stb1 all right so now we're going to come over to the uh the chinese uh, the newest addition to the World of Tanks Xbox. And uh, as you can see here, I've gone all the way up to, uh, well, yeah, I think I have to tier 5, uh, type T34 uh, for non-premium. Um, and that's where I live. And actually, I've not played one game in that. Um, last time I was messing around with the Chinese line, I believe I was uh, getting him to 100% um, in one of these premium tanks. 
I don't know which one. You can kind of see which one I play the most. Uh, that 202,000 and the T34-3. And uh, that is what it is. Going over to the French, you can see I have 16 out of 37. And I've been kind of saving these for my uh, Lone Wolf and, and Cub series. Uh, those rare times that we do have time to uh, sit in front of the Xbox and play. Because um, I need the lower tiers to play with, uh, with one of my sons. And uh, over here, you can see that I've uh, pretty much stopped at tier 5. It is fully upgraded. So he does have the 90mm, which is a great gun on a tier 5. Go figure that one out. ELCAMX uh, has recently been... Uh, passed over to get the AMS, uh, AMX 12T and uh, haven't played much in that and that's pretty much it. You can just see here there's the artillery and like I said a tier 4 for the uh, for the tank destroyers um, and then of course I do have all the uh, you know the premiums. Going over to the na I was gonna say going over to the nation uh, going over to the uh, the British nation you can see there's 23 out of 41. Um, I have I've really neglected these guys um, I really need to get off my butt and work the Cromwell because it's a really, really good tank. It really is. Um, Comet, a really, really good tank. And I just want to move my way up, um, you know, up the line here. Uh, these, you know, bitch, the low alpha, quick, uh, quick reload. It, it's just, it's just not my thing. I don't know. Um, it's not that it's bad. It's just, it just doesn't come natural uh, to me. Although the Tog does, <laughs> but that's a whole nother story. Um, but you can see that I've been sitting at the Black Prince, um, and I'm halfway to the uh, the Tier 8. Um, what else? The AT-15A. Uh, don't forget they've uh, redone the matchmaking on that, so it's a little better. And I need to be working on the AT-8, and uh, that's pretty much it. All right. The ones that I've been really focusing on, um, you know, I start off the Americans, but is the German and the Russians. Um, don't know why. It's just kind of what I like to do. And uh, you can see here, um, I've had this one researched forever, just have not purchased it. Um, have not upgraded the gun here on the tier uh, tier seven here, the uh, Stuart Emil. Um, I'm way down here on the uh, the artillery. Um, what else can I tell you? Uh, I have all the uh, the premiums here for the German line. And uh, Tiger P is fully upgraded, and I'm just working on the Ferdinand and the VK. And Tiger is fully upgraded, and is actually to the point where he's released uh, the or research the Tiger II. Panther hardly touched it. Um, I need to get working on that. I need to work on the Tier Six so I can go forward here to the Tier Seven. And again, another light tank that I've neglected uh, down here, Tier Five. I need to work on to get to the Tier Six so that I can move on and on. Because actually, this is a this Tier Seven uh, tank is really nice. Uh, by the way. All right, so, and last but not least, 32 out of 60 researched on the Russians, and I've kind of neglected it, um, but uh, last when we left our hero, I was working on the A44 for the mediums, having a great time with that. I'm really, really becoming a medium tank lover, um, so that is that. I eventually, I'll get off my butt and hit the T3485 again, and, um, you know, unlock the T43 and knock out these two. Haven't purchased the uh, the MT25. Haven't purchased the the KV13, but obviously they are researched. And uh, for the most part, I'm up here in the tier eights. You know, I've got my KV4, I got my IS3, and again, not a big fan or, or really spend too much time caring about the artillery, so it's not really that developed. And then because I've been doing other things, gosh darn it, um, great tanks, but I just have not been spending time on the uh, the SU100, which would unlock the two lines for the Russian tank destroyers. So I need to get off my butt and do that as well. Um, that's pretty much it. I know Leo Vag wanted, uh, at least what he what he said was, he was, you know, uh, the message, you know, uh, was passed on, you know, if there's any new medals and things like that, that I've, uh, that I've, um, you know, achieved or whatnot. And I'll be honest with you, I have no idea if I've got a new medal. I don't really keep track of those things. If I see it, that's, that's great. Um, you know, but I, I don't know. I don't really keep track of those. So for those of you that are interested in the metal aspect of, um, you know, what I've done, just go ahead and look me up uh, via the website and my, uh, and my name, and you can figure out, uh, you know, the ribbons and the medals, at least as far as I know, unless they've changed that on me. And that is that. So nothing big. Just want to share with you and uh, answer one of my subscribers slash buddies. 
And that's pretty much it, guys. So thanks for stopping by. All right, man. I will catch you guys later. Now, where did my crew go off to? Oh, I see. There they are. Okay, girls. Tell them who they are if they're receiving this transmission. You are one of the 47, 47 Ronin. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.